Due to the overwhelming success of the first video and a lot of people have been asking for a part 2, I've decided to make another video on the topic. So without further introduction, let's go over the 3 things that you didn't know you could do in Widget 101 Part 2. So for our first spot is how to go out of bounds using castle blocks. Now I know you can do this stuff with floating rugs and you're probably like, Hunter I know this stuff. But all of this comes from my experience and really not from other people. So the first thing you have to do is get a castle block. I really prefer something with a ceiling and a floor. Otherwise this is probably not going to work. So all you have to do is move the castle block up against a solid area and go near it and gently move it up. Oddly while you're doing this you can also move a few things in houses. I believe as long as it has some kind of animation to it, it will be movable in some way or some fashion. This trend seems to move up and down whenever castle blocks are collided with it. Eh, okay, enough fun. For our second spot is how to glitch out or watch people slide around. This is a more of a visual glitch that people see but you yourself won't be able to see it unless you have a second account. It's a fairly old glitch that most old users might have seen once in a while in their lifetime of playing the game. To do this glitch you will need a second account or a friend to watch you. When you have both these things loaded up on two screens press up on your arrow key or alternately press W then use your mouse to hold down and drag the wizard 101 limit. You'll notice that one account it's sliding around forward and clipping it into walls. This is what you want. Once you let go of the Wizard 101 window, it will slide back into place. Now you might be asking me, why is this a good thing? Well, if you want to freak out your friends or people that haven't seen this glitch, such as this girl right here, it's a really nice thing to do. And for our last spot is becoming invisible in public. I know there are a lot of fancy ways of doing it in your house, but we're talking about becoming invisible in public. And to my knowledge, there really isn't a way to become invisible in public. So for this trick, you're going to need a friend. I have no friends. Just kidding, I don't want friends. So for this video, I'm going to be using my second account again. First thing you want to do is position your friend or second account somewhere private or distant away from you. You can be close if you want, though I don't really recommend. Second, you want to position yourself in a large group to stop, I mean observe people. Then click go to the location on your friend and press enter. Immediately after that, click the button again on your friend and press enter on the keyboard. Keep repeating this process if you want to stay invisible. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, just keep trying. This right here is why I don't want friends. Those were the three things you didn't know you could do in Wizard 101 Part 2. If you liked the video, why not subscribe or hit the like button. I'd really appreciate that. If you didn't like the video, then dislike it. With that, take care, have a super day wherever you're at, and peace.